some friends to the Beaver Dam. We're having our member game night tonight, and I'm really excited. We got Snack Attack here. Uh, we got Only Bombardment. Looks like we're going to be having... Uh, I don't know what you want us to call you. I know your account is I Don't Whale on, uh, on here. I think you're muted currently, but we will figure it out. We're going to see how many people we can get in here, and it'll be a fun time. Uh, let's see if anyone else has reached out at all. I think this is it for now, and then we'll have a couple people in like an hour or so. Um, it looks like I Don't Whale is trying to work on some stuff. Um, he's having some technical difficulties, but Snack, how you doing? Only Bombardment, how are you guys doing? Doing Great. good. Awesome. I'm excited Hope. to do some intense gaming here. <laughs> oh, I should probably throw on our music just so we have something in the background and make sure the music in-game is turned off so I don't get a copyright claim while we're going about this. Uh, music off, yes. Let's get our music going. What do you guys think? Should we just throw our, you know, bangers on shuffle or should we just go our classic, uh, music that we use during, like, roster reviews and stuff? I you guys won't be able to hear it, obviously, it. but, you know, I'm not going to be, like, streaming it to you guys, but. Well, play bangers. Yeah. Play bangers? Fair enough. Okay, let me get those up and running. Okay, sounds like uh, I Don't Whale is just launching now, so we'll give him a second. He will be in. Let's just, whoa, a little loud. There we go. We're starting that one over. I like this song too much to play it from the middle. <clears throat> Man, that's a... Just to go back a little what we were talking about. I completely forgot Aiden's original ship was a, just a regular yeah, TIE fighter. Yeah, and then they just for some reason were like, Hey, TDC, we'll, we'll give it to them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I mean, you can tell. It's the reason that uh, there's that glitch with Executor where uh, they... Um, it, like they they cannot target the TDC. They can go and target other people because it counts as a uh, an unmanned ship, even though it's not. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So like you know, it's only supposed to be uh, Razor Crest that's supposed to uh, hit anyone they want to. Everyone else, it's only if it's a a crewless tank. And so because of the fact that uh, she counts as a crewless ship from their original idea for the character. That's at least everyone's theory. That's why Xanadu's blood and boss can avoid the, uh... What is it called? What is that ability? It's the, the semi-permanent taunt? Yeah, her, uh... Yeah, it's like the same one that Savage has. Yeah, Savage and Mace Windu have. Whatever it's called. That That's why they can avoid it. And it drives me crazy, but, like, also, she's way too good against Executor anyway, so, sure, why not? It's resilient defense. Holy crap. Yeah, Let yeah. me turn you down real quick. Yes, resilient yeah, defense. Yeah. Okay, can you speak one more time, I don't well? The rebels have won this battle. Okay, and then one more time. Hello. Okay, should be good. We're probably going to have to adjust that a couple times throughout just when people join in because we, we know we're going to have at least one or two more people. So, and then it, we might get surprised and get more people, but... Uh, any members that are joining in can always join us in at any time. Um, if you can't play, you can always join in the chat, too. This is a member game night, so you guys are invited in. So, let's just get that out of the way. Okay. Sweet. Um, if there's anyone watching the stream that's not a member that wants to play, I'll give them. Gibson, uh, oh, there you go. What, what tier is uh, Alex? Oh, it's anything, any tier, so it's just damn cool uh, work. So if we get some people that are wanting to join in, we'll, uh, we might have you hit up that. I, I'd give out some myself, but I already gave out my allotment for the month. <clears throat> can, can you target specific players? I, I wish I could. I've been trying to find a way to because I would love to be able to like give them out as like uh, rewards for things and stuff like that. But so far as I've found, I can't find a way to do it. It's just, you know, whoever's in chat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not playing our... do that on Twitch. 
Yeah, well, YouTube's catching up. Like they're they're slow going about it, but they're catching up. Like they just added rating. You guys have seen that. We've been rated by you know Nooch and a couple others. Uh, we are gonna be rated by Arnold during the subathon, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna see if I can get him to join us in a chat for a bit for it too. So they're piece by piece. They're working on it. Okay, let's jump into a co-op mission now. We got the three of us in here. Uh, what faction you guys want? Or should I just hit any? <laughs> Holy crap. Snack attack jumping in with the 10 gifted subs. Hey, that means any of those guys can join in today. Um, ooh. I gotta look at, uh... Oh, that's funny. Ryan Richter's in there. I just realized I, o I always play on my Xbox, so I have, like, nothing unlocked. Love that. At least we're playing, you know, uh, just co-op, and so it's not going to be anything too crazy. So you'll be able to level up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> Apple, you make that 50. <laughs> uh, dude, I so currently we have 119 with these 10, 129 members at the moment. And all of them are free to join in. Uh, we can do up to a 64-player game. So, And if we need to break into multiple games, I'm down for it. That's a lot of Apple, numbers. Apple E wants to get 50. <laughs> yeah, he says make that 50. <laughs> All right, Apple E. <laughs> Dude, you don't actually have to. <laughs> uh, Ryan Rulon coming in with the hey snack. Thank you for the gifted membership. Uh, it's going to be for about three hours. It's Nova. So if you end up having time and you want to jump in, feel free. You guys can jump in at any time that you guys feel you can, you can get in. So... Um, oh my gosh, Snack Attack, you did not have to do that. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for the 50 gifted subs. <laughs> oh gosh, dude, I'm gonna laugh if like everyone's like, okay, let's get in here. Oh gosh, okay. So yeah, all, all of those people, uh, if you get in chat and stuff and you want to join in, let us know. We'll get our moderators on it and we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Nova. <laughs> Should I? Oh gosh. Do I have the mod privileges to go through and. Uh, a bombardment, you should, them? yeah. If you have the time, you can uh, start going I through some of these the guys. I appreciate right it. Now. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone that did. Gosh. It's, it's still like going. Uh, okay. Genocida, if you want to join, uh, head over to the Discord and then DM me or uh, DM only Bombardment and we'll make sure you have the stuff and then our uh, just our uh, voice channel is in the member area so as soon as you're given your role you'll have the ability to join in. So just hop over to the Discord and we'll get you in here. This will be the last one. Apple East has 50 more. <laughs> you, you do not have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have to do that, dude. <laughs> then you better R9 all your Gungans. Oh, gosh. I, I'm definitely r 9 Jar Jar. That's for sure. Holy crap. Uh, speaking of, here's the Boss Nass song playing. Gosh, dude. <laughs> you really didn't have to do that. Here you go, Apple Oh, my God. <laughs> Apple No, I didn't Apple actually did mean, mean it. it. <laughs> Oh uh, my gosh. <laughs> Shut up, Andy. <laughs> hey, Mara, here. Come here. You're getting excited, aren't you? You hear me laughing? Hi. Hi, poopers. Hey. You go, poopers, huh? You want a treat? I... Let's get you a treat on stream. As, as uh, they sure. say when you, when you so, get uh, to be the shrine in Zelda. Go and bring peace to the world. <laughs> I'll do my best. Should, Should I, I feel put like... an announcement in general? Oh yeah, 100% feel yeah. free and be like, hey, anyone who got a membership can join in the whole bunch of memberships for just two. Not right. Right. Bars. And... Goodness. Uh... Oh god. It's just gonna keep going off, jeez. Okay. Go. Good boy. 
Oh yeah, there's only 16 watchers. <laughs> I think it's just going to subscribers with Yeah, so it'll go to subscribers and it'll go to people who um who interact with the channel most. So <laughs> Yeah, River, it is absolute chaos. So if you want to join in, feel free. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's get a game going while we wait to see if anyone's coming in. Um looks like I do have a DM, so we'll see if that's Genocida. Yep, okay, here we go. Uh, bombardment, the name is Haas Nocturna. H-O-Z, Haas Nocturna. Um, to make a member? Yes, give him the damn cool membership. Um, Their name won't match currently, but it's fine. Um, Haas Nocturna, if you're watching, can you please... Uh, Whoops, where are you in Discord? Um... Are you part of the, uh... His... Yeah, so it should be Haas Nocturna, unless he changed it to Genocida. Gino, uh, over here. Uh, I don't... Hello? I'm not seeing Genocida. Oh, Haas Nocturna. There we go. Found it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Um, I don't know how to add roles. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, you got it. Roll? Uh, damn cool. Okay, sweet. I don't wail. Also, do you want me to call you I don't wail, or do you want me to call you your name on YouTube? Yeah, Either one. Fine. Which one? I don't wail. Okay, I don't wail. Sounds good. Okay, I, okay, I don't wail. Here's a question. How many do I? How many messages do I have to give before you wail on something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like, I have all the light you bundles, so as you can see. I will on light few bundles. That's a good that's a good uh, thing to spend money on. Yeah, oh, yeah. I kind of bought the conquest path because I wanted bang. I didn't feel like waiting. Oh, how dare you? You don't you do whale. Conquest pass is one hundred percent whaling. Okay, oh, Haas Nocturna, yeah. uh could I get a uh <laughs> that's your EA? Is it the conquest pass plus or conquest pass? Regular. Oh. That's not whaling. I that's don't have thirty dollars lying around. That's just ten bucks. Yeah, the spend to go. Thirty dollars? No. If I had money, I would definitely be paying my way through the Leviathan journey right now. <laughs> that's what I would be doing. <laughs> well, I what's wrong with the Leviathan journey? Let me say this: Darth oh, Revan's oh, capital ship that needs two R nines. Leviathan. Oh, like, I thought you meant, like, the event. I was so confused. Oh. Let me get Haas in here, and we can start our first match. Leviathan. I love that. That's fine. Uh, I just it's, need your EA, yeah, uh, account. Yeah, with my 15 Fury class interceptor shards. So just whatever the name is at the top left of the screen when you go and click on it. Right here. I just need to know what it is, and I can invite you. That was the matter. <clears throat> I, I, I didn't play the game when everyone was R9 and uh, Piat in the, in the executor meta. Hello there. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's been a struggle not to Relic 9 him because, like, it's, it is a good idea, but, like, also, don't, do I need it? <laughs> well, I'm not sure that it's First a good idea, to be but it's not a bad What do you mean? It's gotta be C! With a geared armor. Oh my gosh. I can't, still can't believe you have a relic, a high relic C and no armor. That's right after I get back, right, first thing. Even before I relic died in. Fair. Fair. I'm working on, uh, working on it myself, but it's been pushed down the road hard just because of Gungans. <laughs> that relic 9 Jar Jar is coming. I love, my... I, I love the old lore accurate combo of C. Watch, uh, in armor. <laughs> oh yeah, with the GBA and the Sith Empire. We're gonna yeah. see Remember if I can. Remember when they were all together and they crashed a ship on a deserted planet, and they had to put their differences aside and work together to get off the planet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's story in Star Wars. That's my favorite thing. Is there? Oh, I can't. I, don't know. I was going to see if I could turn down the chat box because it's just still going off in my ears. <laughs> uh, so uh, oh, no. I Not a bad thing whatsoever. 
We should have waited till next week so we can make each go for the silver song, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. We'll do some more stuff, fun stuff for the subathon. <clears throat> but hey, that that ends up not only helping towards Jar Jar, but also moving to Beaver Dam. So getting the head start on it. <clears throat> okay. Pause Nocturna as well. Okay, sweet. They're sending you an invite. No one look at my friends list. Don't go friending my random people. Uh, Haas Nocturna. Can I spell that right? That looks right. I'm Cal Kestis. I might be one of the last of my kind. Yeah, that's gotta be I it. I feel like Haas we're Nocturna. just gonna be getting the, um, someone's name has joined the damn elite for the entire stream right now. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Okay, sent you an invite, Haas Nocturna. And then we'll see if Was the Matter can get his game going, but for now we're going to get our first match going of just co-op. <clears throat> uh, any specific faction you guys want to play? Empire, I guess. Empire? Okay, sounds good to me. There we go. Okay. We got all four of us in here. Let's do it. <laughs> Dang snack attack straight out Oprah up here. <laughs> you get membership. You get a membership. Everyone gets a membership. <laughs> okay, let's do Empire. Well, I've I've got just as big. Well, I, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. It's not, <laughs> it's inappropriate for. Oh. I, will, I, I I I have just as large of a, of a heart as Oprah has, and I'll leave uh, it at that. Okay, there we go, yes. I, I prefer no swearing, but, like, I honestly get it. If you guys do swear, just try to leave out any kind of slurs or anything like that that would be, you know, obviously not okay for streaming. Uh, so, it's, like, Carabast off limits? Whoa, dude. I, I think I'm gonna have to ban you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you're good. Um, I told myself that well I told you that I would get going through the memberships but I don't even know where to start I'm not sure how many people are in um, discord too yeah 100 so <laughs> no way fat Phil was one of the people that got a membership <laughs> it just popped up on screen I don't know if he's in chat but holy crap <laughs> well, you're, well you're welcome oh that's hilarious <sighs> yeah, I will I get a. You. It, like besides uh, besides like the ones that are you know, uh, people popping up and being like, hey, I want in, I'm a member now. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. I can get a full list together and pass it into the mod chat, and then we'll all work on it. Oh, but holy shiz, dude! Snack, you didn't have to be. <laughs> I know what I'm doing tonight. Be so generous, jeez. I will bring. Freedom and security to this damn, <laughs> uh, this damn empire. Oh, it's this so great. Damn empire. I thought the empire was for Arnold. I, as soon as it left, those words left my mouth, I realized that Arnold has Yeah, how dare you. Calling out Arnold. Uh, Mr. Potato Pig, if you didn't get a membership, I honestly would say, go make sure your settings are on for gifting memberships, because... <laughs> Was <laughs> Astro DB gifted a membership? He said he was the other day. Uh, Astro DB? Uh, that sounds super familiar. I believe he was. And, like, I mean, no harm in giving him the Discord thing for now, and then we can fix it later if yeah. we need to. Well, one of the things that I've... I'm kind of a loner in real life, but one of the things that I've kind of enjoyed about this game is the community. Yeah, it's honestly one of my favorite things, and like, sometimes it can be a little toxic, and so I'm hoping to build something a little bit better with this channel. And so far it has been succeeding, like, uh, you know, most of the people that I interact with are just some of the coolest people I've ever met. How many memberships do I uh, have to get before I can be toxic one? <laughs> be toxic about what? To be toxic towards one sequel trilogy supporter. <laughs> Sorry, is this like another person in our no, in our no, Discord? Because like you can go and 
be mean to Bit Dynasty, I guess, because his favorite one is a uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker, apparently. Oh, An Irishman just put a list of all of the members. Oh, I it. oh sick. Once, once I get a little bit farther into this YouTube career and like get to know the moderators a bit better. I'd consider adding you guys into the YouTube moderation like fully, where it allows you to edit my content as well, just so that way you guys can see the list without me having you guys go in. But it's not something I'm like keen to do immediately because it means that you guys will have access to like deleting my videos and stuff too. Well, I guess I better ask Bit Dynasty that question. <laughs> yeah. how, many, how many do I have to get before I can be toxic? <laughs> Honestly, if I. If I find people that, that are like straight up like, oh yeah, you know, sequels are the best thing, I immediately am like, no, you're just wrong. Probably trolling at that point. Uh, I mean, Bit Dynasty claims Rise of Skywalker's favorite Star Wars movie. The only reason I like... Sorry, you can go. If someone was like between the ages of 9 to 14 as the sequel trilogy was being released... I think I can understand that. Yeah, if it, like, that's the thing about, like, I hear all the time people say, Star Wars Episode Three is the best Star Wars movie, and I'm like, I disagree, but I know that that's what we all grew up with, and so a lot of us are going to have that opinion. Like, I, I know that, it, you know, from the point of view of nostalgia, like, everything looks amazing. And, like, yes, yeah, Star Wars Episode Three is great. I'm not saying it's not in my, you know, top five, but it's not the best one. So. Yeah, into really. your age category, and I hate the sequels. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Yes, sequels. Your parents are I raising you well. <laughs> the only reason I'm even slightly partial to the sequels is I have to see all of them in theaters because I'm True. not old enough to see. Okay. The like I'm, in I'm still like, but her. That's yeah. It. Outside I'm still butthurt about the fact that I didn't get to see Star Wars Episode 8 in theaters. And so, fair. 100% fair. Episode well, I mean, 8 that's, in that's theaters like, uh, was kind of nice. That's kind of like being butthurt about, like, you never had a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> you may not have had one. To be fair, I... Like, you don't want to go, like... Oh, I, I just can't wait till I have that experience. I wish I had that. I wish I had that experience. <laughs> no, you can, you can. That's one of the things. You can do now. I mean, I would have rather seen episode eight in theaters than episode nine. Like. See, I feel like episode nine is just like that would be awesome to watch with friends. Because you can just make fun of it all the time. Yeah, I went with my sister, and I was home in Alaska, and, you know, I all of my friends had left Alaska at this point, so, like, I had no friends around, and so it was just like, well, I'm depressed. <laughs> I actually used to like nine. Well, I saw episode eight with my sister. We were really excited to see the movie. Oh, I got and, destroyed. Uh, before the I'm still loading started, in. There was this guy You're still loading in? Him. Yeah. That's insane. We're like halfway through the level at this point. My sister, she got. Like so I said, my computer is horrendous. I could tell. Jeez. My sister got so like she like Holdo made her so anxious. Like not necessarily like, Holdo whatever, just Holdo style in general. Oh yeah. Like I mean, that's the thing is they made a character that was a douche just to the character that everyone loves. <laughs> the last, the last, uh, my sister loves Star Wars. The last movie she saw in theaters was, uh, was the last, like, half of The Last Jedi. Because she just, like, was so disgusted with Holdo. She, she just got up and left before the Holdo. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I, I mean, fair. That was, like, one of my biggest complaints the first time watching the movie, is that she was just... I wanted her to die more than the First Order. I was like, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good when, when you want the villain to win. my father before. So, but before that movie, my sister and I were sitting in the theater, and there was this guy in the back, and he had, like, four daughters. And the guy said... You know, I just want to see Luke Skywalker. And all four of his daughters turn to him, and in unison, they're like, Shut up, Dad. <laughs> and that ended up being foreshadowing for the movie. 
Love that. Like, we just want to see Luke Skywalker. Ryan Johnson, shut up. <laughs> it's still going, dude. <laughs> Wait. That, that name isn't even I'm, in English. I am fairly sure that most of the people, or at least more than two people, <laughs> um, are not in this game. <laughs> at I'm least two of us. I'm going through the list, and I'm not seeing us or their names just not. I, I apologize. I completely forgot about this other time. Oh, you were good, dude. You never have to uh, apologize about wailing on my YouTube. I'm always happy to take it. <laughs> I wail on YouTube. Uh. Oh. That, that just reminded me, my teacher was so confused what wailing meant. It was hilarious. Because of my <laughs> deeper meaning of farm scrap upgrade project. Oh yeah, your little poem you did for class, that's right. Yeah, oh. now I have to make like a poster, but since Arnold doesn't have the lyrics posted, I have to listen to the song like a hundred times and write it down individually. <laughs> Every oh. single line. Love that. You can go to the description of a video. And then there's a transcript. Oh, oh perfect. Um, oh. It's not going to be a accurate, but it'll help. Yeah. Apple E still calling out for more. Rando, welcome, welcome. We got Han at A, by the way. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out later. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, from having to actually watch videos for assignments. Sorry, Apple, I can't. Well, they blocked YouTube, so... <laughs> hey, Dr. J. Welcome, welcome. Simply... Uh, it goes. We still have things going off from, uh, the gifted subs we got today from Snack Attack here. I was fucking oh. so <laughs> Apple, you just said, no, I mean, how many are left? Don't add more, please. <laughs> Okay, so you're keeping a running count? How are you counting that? Is there just like an easy way to count that that I don't know about? Does it say or something? Well, didn't they say like you gifted... How many members you gifted? Can you just do the math? Yeah, but um, like how is he keeping how track of yeah, how many we've like, gone through counting, so far? That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. He's counting like he's trying to pop up. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he keep track of the, the long way. <laughs> Uh, who is this Snack Attack? I mean, he's out doing you dank ideals. Um, Snack Attack was a guy from my guild, and now he's a member. He's an awesome dude. And actually, does, I think I might assign him, him the, uh, the, the damn, damn Sugar Daddy movie? tag. Yeah. I think that officially gives him the damn Sugar Daddy tag in the Discord, that's for sure. Hog? Hegel Woggle. <laughs> Some wild names. I don't know how nerdy people are in here, but uh, do you guys know that Luke is played by Matt Mercer? Oh no, that means that the list that an Irishman sent isn't accurate. <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> ADP is gonna be mad. Yeah, he's losing his place, dude. I mean, Dank, you remember, if you want to jump in, you can. You should have access to this channel and everything. So if you want to jump up, jump in with this, you are free to do so. Yeah, take my phone. My thing's still loading. You're still loading? Dude, it's been like 20 yeah. minutes. Oh. I know. That's insane. I got Leia on A. Bro's got that lemon power support. <laughs> lemon power support. It's just a straight up that's, that's potato. That's just what I want for my birthday. Okay, sounds good, Dank. I'll expect you next month, then. I'm just gonna close out of Battlefront. Yeah, sounds good. See if you can join the after the fact. See if I can get the then. next game. Yeah. Yeah, I think what, ha what probably happened was, like, my computer, like, after a certain time, like, it just turns off, so... I want to turn it back on, like, completely messed it up. Mm. Makes sense. I just realized the Savage song is playing as I'm using Darth Maul. This works out pretty well. 
Uh, speaking of uh, just volume, okay, once once this goes away, we'll establish kind of where audio is at and how people are able to hear the music and you guys and make sure the mixer's right. But, like, it's kind of hard when you just have bring in your ear, like, every three seconds. Can you not just, like, mute it? Uh, no, because it's considered a outside source, and so I'd have to go to the website of, uh the actual like system that I use to stream and so like yeah it's a ton of work to do <laughs> just like uh, okay it's it's finished that's that, that's that's all of them sick nice oh, okay <clears throat> okay so just to make sure can you guys hear them as well as like the music and everything <laughs> I, can, I can hear everybody oh you're asking the chat yeah I'm asking the chat the nightmares are over. <laughs> I wouldn't say nightmares. I, I'd say more of uh, dreams, you know? Because it was a good thing. Okay, Buff Baker Boy and Potato Pig say yes. Okay, sweet. As long as you can hear them and the music, that's all that matters to me. If you can't hear me, I don't care. I'm not important. Oh, a lot of them coming. Alright, let me restart on my computer. I'm gonna see if that helps. Sounds good. I'll be long, but whatever. <laughs> it seems balanced as all things should be. <laughs> Whoa there, Star Wars stream, not Marvel. How dare you. I go crazy when I hear the same sound over and over again. Yeah, I, I need to, uh... <laughs> go in and edit that and see if I can find a way to make it so that way it just gives us the announcement of the subs and not like uh, letting us know for every single person that got it. I didn't think I'd like really run into old rival. <gasps> I think I just unlocked the voice line. <laughs> oh, sweet. Voice line. For uh, Maul, the Kenobi voice line. Oh, nice. Um, we'll see after this game, but it just popped up with Old Rival as a challenge and said Kenobi. Heck yes, I've been working towards that for so long. Well, that's Chewy. I don't like that. Oh, and Yoda? Okay. I got Chewy. I'm backing up. Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah. Gosh, fighting heroes is so hard. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little broken. I love this song. Uh, while I'm uh, visiting family, I'm gonna visit my uh, the guy who made our song, and we're gonna work on making an intro song, so we'll have an intro to our streams. So, <clears throat> Black Knight, welcome. Can we get a member uh, of all of the members to get General Kenobi in the chat for him? Thank you, Rando and Apple. That's the oh, we're song gonna be like the opposite of um, uh, Arnold's outro song. Nah, nah. Um, we're it's actually based off of a song that me and the uh, the guy that I have do my music. Um, we uh, we worked on together as a funny thing on just a random Saturday. And uh, it wasn't good, like, at all. It was when he was, like, you know, first getting into music. And I I know vaguely about music. Like, I was in band growing up. But that's about it. And so, you know, I was kind of helping out a little bit here and there. And so it was bad. And he's taking it and making it into something good. And so. Oh, look at that. First place. Dank I Oh, speaking of, speaking of Dank Ideals... Um, by the end of this stream, I promise you will have your emoji. You may not have your song, but you'll have your emoji. I'll just have to whip it up during the stream. I've got the art. I just need to kind of go from there. Uh, what's the matter? Did you get your stuff done or are you, uh, still kind of waiting? I think he's still waiting because I'm pretty sure he's the one who just left. Okay, I don't have, so, I don't have my Discord notification sounds on, so I can't really tell some people jump in and out. 
so. Oh yeah, I want. Oh, I need to check if we. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna quit. I, I need to check if I got the uh, Kenobi emote. I've been working so long on that. Yeah, <clears throat> five thousand kills with the dark side hero. I can't see it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is? Fair, fair rando. I mean, this game's probably not that expensive right now. But then again, I'm not gonna force anyone to pay, spend money. Link probably on this. get it with um, uh, what you call it, like EA Play or something like that. With Snacks' current uh, memberships that he just dropped, um, to answer your question of how many I have, I'm at 229 members for this month. It's Nova. Yes. So, this is this is a fact. It's not being gross. You had sixty nine before I came. So I I had sixty nine back. Um, let's see. Before Joe Correa came in, I had sixty nine. Then Joe Correa came in. I went up to a hundred and nineteen, uh, or. 100, 109, and then I got 10 from just regular stuff, and then you gave 10, and then you gave 100. So, if I'm doing my math right, 229. Alright, I just got back, back in. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, 110. No. I think I get to 110. Yeah, you've basically given half of the memberships that I have right now. <laughs> Hi, Mara. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna leave my console or PC for just a second. I'm gonna check that Mara has food. I don't know why she's being needy, so let me check. Mara's one of the weirdest dogs you'll ever see because uh, you don't feed her. Uh, you just. Uh, what are we in? Strike? Wait, why are we in strike? Hold up. Everyone quit. <laughs> I, I, I just got back into the game. Okay, sweet. Uh, but yeah, everyone quit. Um, but yeah, my dog, she won't eat if you give her food. She just eats what she feels like eating. And so it's super, super weird. Oh yeah, the same thing with my dog. Like over the summer, I think he probably had his breakfast at one o'clock every day. Jeez. Okay, so I don't have and the they, email. And they give it to him at five thirty because my brother has to be really swing. So what did I get? Did I just get the voice line? Dang. I think he. Yeah. Okay, so we have the voice line. How close are we to the email then? Yeah. What you mean? I already have Kenobi. I haven't even played this game once. Okay, I think that should fix it. Can you speak again really quick, Snack? Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Yeah, it got really quiet on your end for a second, so I had to turn you up. Uh, my highest level hero is, it has to be Maul, right? 54? Yeah, like, Maul's the only one I ever play besides Kylo Ren. Yeah, so Count Dooku's 18, Luke's 23, Kylo Ren's 25, and then Maul is 20, or 54. 
So. My highest is Yoda at 79, followed by Aiden at 78. Jeez. Oh, that's so sad. What's the matter? What's the matter? Apparently, he's just trying to install uh, game drivers. I think he's back. He just Snack back. attack is the true damn best. Fair. I mean, to be fair, though, you did buy the damn best membership, which means you are permanently on there. So, Joe, you are true. He is the damn best right now, though. He is freaking amazing, and we all love him. <clears throat> Temporary damn, damn best. Yeah, you're not wrong, Potato Pig. Yeah, so my top membership, my $100 membership, where you're immortalized on our uh, end screen and everything, is called The Damn Best. And you permanently get the Discord titled The Damn Best. It's not just for the month, it's permanent, no matter if you use it only once, or if you, uh, you know, keep it going every month. Thank you for the compliment, Joe Correa. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. I, I don't know if this would be a compliment or not, but I, I don't... I've heard of the Korea family. I've, I've never met them in real life. But there's been streams where I've donated or gifted, and people ask me if I was a Korea. <laughs> I'd say that's a, a compliment. I the Koreas are... I don't know what that means, but... The Koreas are what make the Swago community go around. Welcome, Joe, to the, the stream. I'm just throwing it out Wait, there. Wait, well, he actually said something? Yeah, this is the uh, the second time I've ever had Joe say anything. <laughs> so, big moment, guys. Whenever hey, Total Tech. Whenever you do something insane on a Galaxy of Heroes stream, someone asks you if you're a Korea. <laughs> Fair. For the record, I am not, but I've heard a lot about them. Hmm. Also, welcome, Wep. I don't know if I said welcome to you, but welcome, my friend. It's good to see you. Release, release <laughs> we'll be I a dick. I, I, think I, I think I do share a name of one of them. Oh, very nice. I won't say it for, you know. Fair. fair. Although, if you can't guess my real name from my in-game name. Oh, I, yeah. I it immediately, Adi, obvious. Mm. <laughs> Let's just say it rhymes. Uh, okay. And multitasking, working on some music, Web, huh? So we got a we got a song being worked on by Web here. So exciting stuff. Hey, Pascal, welcome, welcome. Like it's genuinely surprising that our people are popping into chat that aren't members at this point <laughs> because of how many you gifted. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, miss General Kenobi. Hey, with Apple E, with how much you uh, you interact with the chat, anytime someone gifts one, you're probably gonna get one. <laughs> yeah, just wait a week. Got to download some mods. Oh, we we'll probably do a like if we're gonna do this every month, which I that's the plan. We'll probably start doing through um, Kyber.gg and do some modded stuff just for fun. But I want to get like a, a big group together before we start doing that kind of thing um, and getting like some crazy mods going because with kyber.gg you're basically just playing with the people that you have so like you know if we can get a huge group together I am so down for that like my, my dream right now is that we get all the members together playing the new battlefront collection once they fix it and just doing a huge galactic conquest on two teams against each other like I think that would be so much fun Yeah, of course the Sand Trooper's on the Death Star. Why, why else would the Sand Trooper be on the Death Star, you know? Uh, he's, he's in room. He, he's here to scare off Darth Vader so Darth Vader doesn't just kill random people. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you're loaded in. You're still not loaded. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. Uh, whatever, I'll just do my day out, please. <laughs> Fair. Shore Trooper best armor. Stop for another 15 minutes. I'll just do the one on my alt. Yes, exactly. Why rush me? Like a full 20 v 20 or like a 32 v 32. Just Galactic Conquest sounds like so much fun. 
did you finish your coder playthrough no i haven't i i need to get back into it but i stopped for a bit just because i got super busy and it wasn't having the most viewership but i do want to finish it because i love kotor those streams were nice because it was like i would talk to them and be like three other people there yeah you don't have to worry about trying <laughs> to talk over anyone <laughs> It was like, um, yeah, it was like the OG streams before a thousand subs. Yeah, it's it's gotten huge lately. Like, especially, like, the last couple of weeks with, like, the rating starting and everything. And, oh, we're pulling back. Okay. Um, with, like, the rating and everything, we've jumped a ton when it comes to viewership on our streams. And so it's been getting crazy. Although, you know, still manageable. Like, it's nowhere on a level yeah. where I can't interact with chat. And, like, that's what I prefer, is being able to interact with you guys. So, like, you know. Like, yeah, I, I feel like I'm entertaining, and I could, you know, make more jokes and stuff. But I, I prefer interacting with you guys more than that, so. It's so weird. I was able to load into a game earlier today. Yeah, I, I wonder if it has something to do with, like, what servers you're using. Chewbacca is, like, dead middle in the beat. I just fell off a cliff. And Bacchus, okay. he's been a thorn in our side all night so far. Yeah, he's been like literally hiding everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, um, why rush me? If you want to join, all you gotta do is, you know, three bucks for a. Uh, damn cool membership and you can jump right in and uh play with us right now if you want we'll uh switch to like supremacy or something and uh play together on a team right now we're just doing co-op just because we have four people exactly so oh my god chewbacca is still alive three. technically three, three yes <laughs> quick someone unlock c3po neutralize chewbacca Oh, gosh. Here, everyone, quick, farm your bounty hunters. <laughs> oh, dude, honestly, C-3PO... Oh, now I gotta think about it. Is C-3PO my least favorite event? No, Grand Inquisitor is my least favorite event. Oh, by yeah. Far. Um, yeah. But, like, before Grand Inquisitor, probably C-3PO was my second least favorite event. I mean, it was Jedi Knight Luke. Jedi Knight Luke wasn't... I'm trying to remember how Jedi Knight Luke was. It was before it, you got it. That's before you got. But, but yeah, I mean, doing it, like, I threw my best mods and my characters on that event, yeah. and it was still, like, rough. Like, you had to, like, figure out how things worked and everything. So, yeah, it was definitely one of the harder ones. Yeah, and I didn't have half the Omegas either. Because I was, because I needed them for JKL Zetas. Sounds good. Why rush me? I, I mean, we're planning on doing a member game night each month. And so we'll kind of see, we might end up just alternating. So we have our member stream during the off season. And then during the season, we have a member game night for fun. Uh, just like on a, you know, like a Sunday or something. So that way as many people as possible can make it. It was just, today was the only day I had open for this week. Yeah, Trey J, welcome, welcome. If you want to join in, you are a member now. So you can jump in and join in with us. <clears throat> We are getting stomped on this one, though. They're taking yeah. me. I'm going to head over there. We're yakking. It's fine, though. Yeah, it just means more, uh, you know, kills and XP. Oh, why am I playing as a regular trooper? <laughs> I should be playing as Maul. I'm trying to get that freaking emoji, so. Oh, dank. The Fallout show? Okay, I'm not finished. No spoilers. I'm not finished with it. I'm like three episodes in. I'm loving it though. Like honestly, one of my favorite game to uh, show might be after I finish it, my favorite game to show adaptation. Like it's fantastic. They really nail the uh, like the atmosphere of like awful things, but also like uh, that 1950s like optimism. Oh, it's so frustrating. I finally got my Swoter account, but like I can't play it. Like my internet's just so bad, I can't. Oh man. Oh, so the sad. play button's just grayed out. 
That's rough. I'm getting really... Someone else uh, throw something in chat because I can't read Black Knights because the, uh, the frickin' heart that they put in OBS is in the way. There we go. I'm actually getting ready to play my least favorite Fallout in <laughs> Fallout 3. You're gonna mod it? Okay, fair. <laughs> oh gosh. Beaver Dam Minecraft Realm. I oh. have no life on Minecraft Realm. I, dude, Minecraft is one of those games for me where it's like, uh, I play for, you know, two weeks straight and then I don't play yep. again for the rest of the year. Yep, that's oh, exactly crap. Console and Oh, and, and that is a Wookiee. Yeah. Got the Wookiee. They, they were not messing around with that one. Dang. I yeeted Luke back behind us, so be careful. Oh, damn. I spawned on RB and immediately got killed by Luke. <laughs> yeah, I almost got him. He, he was at 90 health. Yeah, I just, uh, is there any way to, other way to play Minecraft? Fair. It, it is just a two-week binge. That's always how it is. Um, but as for Fallout, yeah, I just started playing through Fallout 4 with my roommate. So we're just on a, on a Discord call and just playing through it at the same time. So he, yeah, we, uh... We've gotten into this thing when we play games that like we know somewhat about them, like you know Elden Ring and now Fallout. We just roll for stats, and so like I just rolled to see what stats I get, and so I ended up with a perception build with charisma and agility, and so I've got like no strength and none of that kind of stuff, and I can only spec into like those three abilities. So basically, the stealth archer, like every Bethesda game. <clears throat> I still have never finished a Fallout game, if I'm being honest. Interesting. The first one I ever played was Saw 3. I did Same. beat that one. New Vegas and uh, Fallout 4. I, yeah, I play, started out playing Fallout 3. I played like an hour of New Vegas. Yeah, I should use the dash attack more. You are correct, Landon. <laughs> Yoda won in my cheeks, and he got them. <laughs> Dude, I, uh... There was one time, Fallout 4, I was bored, and I decided, what would a luck build look like? Made a luck build, honestly, the most OP build I've ever seen. It's just constant critically hitting everything, and every time you get XP, you just get triple the XP, and you're just, like, leveling up like crazy. It was literally insane. Everything you open has, like, items, ammo, and caps in it, and you're just like, oh, sick, and then you just sell it all, buy whatever weapons you want, like, the attachments off of, rip the attachments off of it, and put it on your legendary weapon that you have. Like, it was, it's so stupid. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I sucked that game. 44 eliminations. Jeez. Full yeah, charisma this run, just talking it. your way out of everything. Okay, sounds good. Sorry that it didn't work out. I don't well. Yeah, I mean, just... I'll probably still stick around and I'll probably still stick around here while I do my day. Yeah. I'll just close. Yeah, it's rough that it won't work, though. Look, I expected it. I'm surprised you even downloaded it last night. Yeah. This is a fairly high intensive game for this, 100%. Yo, yeah, well, I, I got like, when it, it was like, I'm like out for like May 4th or 3th, like a few years ago, that's when I got it. Oh, fair. Yeah, my, so I got like a thumb drive, because I didn't have enough storage in my computer anyways. Mm. So I just plugged that in whenever I want to play it. Well, we got an extra spot if anyone is open that has a membership. So, uh, also, if anyone wants to join in anyways, we have a spot for, you know, up to... 32 players <laughs> and then if we need to up to 64 players so it's going static we're just having our member game night so if you want to jump in feel free uh i don't think anyone that's playing right now has the old master skin does any do any of you have it i do not yeah i'm pretty sure this is the one that you need 3500 for 
Let yeah. me check. Uh, heroes. Old Master. Old Master is 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. And then 3,500. Oh, 5,000 with any Dark Side hero versus Kenobi is 3,500 with specifically Darth Maul. Oh, the, all of these where it says that I've got notifications for like new stuff. Yeah, no, I've learned to not be bothered by that thanks to Galaxy Heroes, honestly. What are you doing on my bed, Mara? <clears throat> uh, okay. Let's jump in. Uh, you guys want to do a Separatist one? Sure. But then, oh, dude, we can't go this whole game night without playing at least one match of Ewok Hunt. Okay. Have you guys ever done Ewok Hunt? I have I've, done Ewok Hunt I've once. I've played it like once, yeah. Uh, it's, it's so much fun. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to plug in my Xbox and play Ewok Hunt and see what happens. Because I've never played it. There you it go. sounds very interesting. You've never played Battlefield or Battlefront? I'm guessing you're talking about Battlefront this. The best game mode. Yeah, dude, Ewok Hunt is hilarious in this. Hi, Mara. Why are you being so needy? I took you out before the stream. I played with you. We even did an enrichment activity. You just want to cuddle right now? Are you tired and you just want to sleep? Here, let's see if I can get you your bed. <clears throat> okay, well, this loads. I'm going to get her bed next to me, see if she's fine with just sitting, laying down next to me. Why does Halo Infinite take so long to load? Okay. Yeah, you. You get your good poopers. You know. Oh, you know. Uh -huh. Good girl. Ooh, Felucia. <clears throat> okay, sick. I don't think they usually push C and A pretty hard, I think. Sorry, my roommate just brought me some hot chocolate like a beast. Oh. <laughs> Screw the top of your lungs. Yeah, if you're not waking up your mom at 2 in the morning with For the Republic, you're playing Battlefront 2 wrong. That's just how it works. <clears throat> There's this little place in town uh, uh, that I rarely go to, but it has dank hot chocolate. and also has... Uh, Basically, they take their hot chocolate and they freeze it and do like a almost like a milkshake with it, and it's freaking amazing. Mm. Make sure you put it in your. There's nothing wrong with a little pee pee mug. <laughs> it's on the way. I'm waiting for it still. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna get my parents to buy it for me soon. <laughs> Heck yes. I think. Well, I can't wait. I'm also going to uh, order myself a. Uh, one of the the damn uh, hoodies because I wear hoodies all the time, and so the the one with just the beaver dam with the crystals spilling out, I'm like, oh yeah, I'd wear that everywhere. Okay. Oh, that is a tank on top of me. Hi. Went from a tank on top of me to a Wookie, absolutely obliterating my spine. Why are Wookiees haunting you tonight? <laughs> Seriously, yeah, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere I turn, there's a Wookiee. Do you guys ever everywhere see when... Uh, I see his face. 
You guys ever see uh, when they, for Star Wars The Old Republic, they did the April Fool's joke that uh, Sherry Wook, the Wookiee language, was going to be a playable language in Star Wars The Old Republic? And so they reskinned oh. a, uh, a, like, romance scene with a companion in Sherry Wook, and so you could watch a romance scene in Sherry Wook. It was hilarious. Oh my gosh. I don't remember that. Like, well, yeah, if you look it up, I'm sure you'll be able to find it, but yeah, it was hilarious. It sounds like the kind of thing any sequel trilogy fan would enjoy. <laughs> I'll have to find it and throw it. Oh my gosh, another Wookiee, why? Um, I'll have to find it and throw it in like the meme channel in the Discord. Okay. Oh gosh, they're gonna take C. I'm coming back. <clears throat> No, unfortunately, it's not crossplay. It's why I want to switch to the Battlefront collection once they fix it, is because it is crossplay, and so we can do a full game night with everyone playing whatever they need to. This is only PC, sadly. Otherwise, I would have everyone here as much as I can. <laughs> yeah, Wookiees do have a bone to pick with me. Uh, I missed the one guy. I can't remember his name. Um, I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen him in a stream in forever, so I'm forgetting his name. But the guy who uh, who has full, like, Relic 7 Wookiees in Swigo, I miss him. He's awesome. He was, uh, one of, like, one of the first guys who was, like, really interactive with the Discord. I still uh, go back and use his uh, Wookiee team as, like, an example for things. Wait. Like he's got full R7 Tarful team? Uh, his Tarful is Relic 9, and then the rest of his Wookiee team is Relic 7. I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about because he was trying to get like context. the best tarball in the game. Yeah. Okay, uh, let them take the points. Everyone back up. If we let them take, then they will get more time to fight and more time to get XP and farm kills with, you know, Dark Maul. So, we only got 30 seconds left. <clears throat> nope, Anakin. Anakin incoming. Wait, did what because I did it? I got lost. Man. Oh, you got JML. Congratulations, Noah. That's awesome, dude. I'm getting focused by Anakin. I'm running for my life right now. They're all firing at my butt. Like, trying to keep track of chat and play a shooter is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, that's tank. Like, Swigo, not too bad, but, like, I don't know how, pe like, streamers do it for games like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely still. Oh, yeah, I remember the other Apple, Apple E. Apple D. Yeah, there was, there was two Apples, uh... Uh, at, like originally when the I think it was right when Apple were you the one that found me during the KOTOR stream like that was the first time I remember seeing you? that's an Anakin oh back up I got destroyed Anakin's in the middle I guess it's cocaine uh yeah dank but gear 12 Rex on a character where every single character requires Kyrotex is a rough ask yeah. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it was code for. I was remembering correctly. Like, if you were to tell me, hey, they've changed the Rex for the GI event to only require Gear 12 Inquisitor, I'd still be like, no, I don't care. I still refuse to get them up unless my guild says I need to. <laughs> because they still suck. They're still... A ton of Kyrotex to get to gear 12. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty rough journey. Gosh, I'm it's getting stopped. Fun. Have you ever to... noticed how hmm? the characters that tend to be the least popular have the most agonizing events? Yeah. Like, the GI is horrible, the raid journey isn't fun. Yeah, I've heard. Oh, I can't wait to try Rain of Fury when ever Radis goes live again. A lot of people are saying on uh, like Reddit and stuff, they're saying that the uh, Ray event.
got harder when they introduced the light speed bundles. Which I know it got harder mm. when they did the rework of SLKR because, you know, SLKR wasn't good originally. <laughs> But, like, I, I haven't heard anything or seen any evidence that it got harder. But then again, I've never done it, um, like, you know, pre at light speed bundle and post light speed bundle. I know the SLKR event didn't get any harder. I hear Afra's awful stagger. I, yeah, I've heard bad Afra things event. about Afra's event. You apparently need, like, a blazing sonnet. Like, yeah. For like Hochi, apparently she needs to be like, like, crazy I mean, fast. any day I have a long day at work, I could use a blazing sauna. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you ever read the Doctor Afra comics? No, I'm so I'm they pretty are. knowledgeable when it comes to Star Wars, but comics are the one place where I've got like zero knowledge when it comes to Star Wars. The Doctor Afra comics are are awesome. Oh yeah. I love her so much. It's always the freaking Wookiees. Um, it's just like anything. Everything is just so bizarre and fast paced. And hmm. I don't want to say too much to spoil it. There was this one time she was. Uh, she developed. The, I think they're called Tuka Cats. Okay. She developed her own. Uh, like took a cat clone where when she said a phrase they would explode <laughs> i love that <laughs> she used these uh took a cats to infiltrate a capital ship and take it over yeah tukas are really popular for um like house pets that's just taken from context of the thrawn trilogy though from the new canon so she just like you know She's boarding the ship, and they took her weapons, and they're like, what's that? Oh, that's my pet. So they let her bring it on board, and as it turns out, it would detonate if you said a phrase. It's, it's that's pretty amazing. Insane. It's pretty insane. Triple B Wait, and uh, BT1, they're, they're awesome. They're a great duo. Uh, Omnicortisol, is that actually a line from the comics? Because that is hilarious. <laughs> Beat his ass, Chewbacca. <laughs> I could see that. I don't. I I don't recall that, but that could be it. I could see that being a Doctor Aphra. Oh gosh. Whoa. I have I haven't read them all, but what I've read I really like. Um, Potato Pig. What are my thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws? I'm cautiously optimistic, but like that was before I saw the price point thing that they did. Now I'm not cautiously optimistic. I'm really worried. I don't think, uh, I don't think that pricing is any, I mean, it's not new to the video game. No, it's, it's definitely not new to the video game industry, but I was hoping, and a lot of people were hoping that the video game in industry had learned from, you know, Baldur's Gate's success. And like the price points they do have, uh, like $70 sure for the original, but like the, you get almost nothing for perk wise for getting the other ones. And they're like, you know, $30 more for each version. Yeah. Well, the only thing you get different from the uh, pop tier is uh, three-day early access, I think. Yeah. So, like, basically, the base game with the DLC is $110. Yeah. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, well, one, one that depends that's... on if it's DLC. If it's just like a battle pass, season pass, I'm gonna be pissed. It's and like season one, uh, ba uh, season one. And, like, the yeah. fact that they're going to have, like, Battle Pass-esque things and, like, microtransactions and, like, a primarily single-player game. Those two missions you get are, are the DLC. Like, the job yeah. of the HUD mission, and I don't know what the other one is. I got uh, Obi-Wan on me. Tank, can you take him out? I mean, the way I'm looking, I'm, I'm an old man. I know I might not sound like it, but... Uh, the first console I had was an NES. And way back in the early 90s, new game was $60. True. The price point hasn't gone up in a long time, and I can understand them asking for 70 when it's justified. Well, it's a, you know, one thing people like to say is, well, if this kept up with inflation or if that kept up with inflation, $60 in 1984 would be around 200 today. 
Yeah, so like it, it makes sense to a certain extent to do the 70. It's just like the difference of Halo Reach uh, and what I got in the legendary version of Halo Reach versus what I get in like most other versions of games today hurts my soul. I think that overall though, like we live in an age where not that just this game, but pretty much every single game isn't even finished when it releases. Yup. And it needs to be patched heavily. Like the, the players are the quality control testers. Once, once we as a gaming community have accepted stuff like that, like pretty much anything goes at that point. Yeah, and I, like I feel like the the um, the pre-release thing, what PC started doing, where you know you can release a game before it's finished and like basically use it as a way to fund the game which I think was a great model for, you know, independent studios, but the fact that AAA titles have basically been doing it just as like a, oh, we're not actually doing that, but we're doing that, is really just not good for the, just the gaming scene at all. Once, uh, once you can buy clothes for your horse in Oblivion, uh, oh the, my respect gosh. The, the respect for the consumer was just gone. Oh yeah. And that was that was all the way back in 2006. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that directly influenced uh, Harambe's death. He, he implements a uh, horse armor pack. Yeah. Like, that, that is, like, one of those core memory things that, like, will go down in history as a core part of gaming history. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me catch up on chat really quick. I've, I've kind of been glancing back and forth. There's a couple people talking back and forth, but let me see if there's anything I'm missing. Lando says it. Okay, I don't know what comic it is, but apparently Lando is the one that says that line to Chewbacca. What, beat the heck out of Chewbacca? Yeah. Well, I could see it in, like, the new Star Wars comics, like the series called Star Wars. Like, that oh, yeah? series just bonkers. The, uh, the months and months uh, Star Wars comic, it's... It's just out there. They get into all kind of like wacky situations. Interesting. Hmm. The yeah, comics they, are really enjoyable. I bought a couple of like the, um, oh, we lost. Uh, a couple of the omnibuses when I was younger. Um, and so it was just a collection of comics basically long after the fact of them read it, written. And so I've read most of those ones. And so I like, it's probably 10 each. So probably like, I've read 40 comics, Star Wars-wise, but never really uh, done anything too huge with it. So, like, I, I love the comics about Django and, like, his background. Yeah. My personal favorite comic book moment was, uh, it was, like, in a Star Wars What If series. I think it was called Star Wars Tales. Hmm. And uh, Vader fought Maul, Darth Maul. And Vader oh, ended interesting. up beating Maul. And Maul asked Vader, what do you hate so much that you were able to beat me? And Vader says, myself. I love that. Dang. It, there's this book. It's a, uh, if you want like just a gut wrenching Star Wars moment, there's this kid book, there's this children's book called, Are You Scared, Darth Vader? And oh. it's a, uh, it's basically the premise of the book is there's a whole bunch of kids like wearing Halloween costumes and they're like, ooh, Darth Vader, I'm a ghost. Are you scared? What does a, what does a ghost do? Oh, he hides and he jumps out and he scares you. That doesn't scare me. Well, there's this <laughs> one scene where a little kid in a ghost or a witch's costume jumps out. Ooh, Darth Vader, I'm a witch. Are you scared? What does a witch do? She curses you. I am already cursed. <laughs> and you're like, Jeez. what? This is a kid book. <laughs> this is supposed to be a children's book. What, what I, is I'm this? I've been Barnes and Noble perusing the storybooks, and I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, Mr. Potato Pig, you are absolutely right. Developers be like, I smell profit. Uh. Well, Dude, no, I, I mean, that's, well, that's the whole idea of making a product is to make money. Yes, absolutely. Except that, you know, making a quality product is becoming a lost art, which is oh, depressing. 
Well, we don't. We at this point, we don't know if Outlaws is going to be good or bad. I mean, yeah, it like awesome. It looks good. Like I, I don't know. I can already tell that I'm probably not going to be the biggest fan of the story unless they, you know, pull some stuff that I'm not expecting. But I don't know. It doesn't look like it has the emotional range that I'm looking for in a in a story game. But like, it looks like yeah. it'll be fun. Like it'll be kind of like a, you know, on the same level for me as like Shadows of War or Shadow of Mordor, where it's like it's going to be a really fun game, really cool mechanics, and a really cool world. But yeah. maybe not my favorite game because the story's just it. Yeah. I don't yeah, think I, it's gonna... I haven't. I haven't done any like intense research on like the creation of the game. I. I've kind of seen, like, maybe there's a little bit of controversy with its messaging. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm always willing to give a new Star Wars thing a chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, I, there's, like, honestly, with, like, the price point and everything, I probably would leave it and just not play it for a little bit and come back to it when it goes on sale. Uh, but yeah. because I have this channel, I'm going to get it day one and play it through. <laughs> probably you know take a day off work and just do an entire stream of trying to beat the whole game in like a day or two especially I mean, because i hate uh I, I absolutely hate spoilers and so yeah, yeah. Well, yeah what, spoil it spoil it for the rest of us but <laughs> basically yeah basically i mean hey if you're watching my stream going through it that is your fault <laughs> yeah i do, i think outlaws is gonna be good but i don't think it's gonna be worth the money well, I mean, yeah. the way I look at games is like, if you pay a hundred bucks for this thing, but you get a hundred hours of gameplay, at that point, it's I, I would describe that as a fair deal. Yes, I 100% yeah. agree. If, if it's like 20 hours long, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Well, or if it's like even... 15 hours long. Yeah, like right. uh, that, that would be like ridiculous to me. Or like if it was like the campaign takes eight hours, but then there's, you know, 60 hours of just side procedurally generated nonsense, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah. yeah. And like, it could be 100 hours worth it, but like, it, the game also could be so unbearable that like, you can only sit through it. Yeah, so like, ultimately, what, what we're establishing here is don't buy it and watch me play the stream day one and then decide for yourself. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I did, uh, you know, I did pre-order it. I pre-ordered the Gold Edition. Nice. So, you know, there's a outcry in the community right now, like, oh, why would people do that? Well, you, I love Star Wars. Yeah, and that, that's the thing is I've gotten, you know, older. Yeah, like as a kid, it was. You know, I, I say as a kid, even in the last couple of years, I've always looked at money as like it has to be the best use of my money. But like honestly, if it makes me happy for like a good amount of time and gives me a, a solid like thing of just good memories, then I'm fine with spending money. Like, I've always asked yeah. myself like, why do people spend on things like Galaxy of Heroes when I was first started? And then now I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's something I enjoy, and if it means that I can, you know, if this is the thing that's, like, the only thing in my day that's good, sure, I'll spend ten bucks to feel good today. I mean, it's Sounds like awful. Else, but... My sister, she plays Pokemon Go, and she follows this one guy on YouTube. Uh, he's probably, like, the biggest content creator for that game. His name is Brandon Cam. I didn't even know there was content creators for Pokemon Go, but it makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. And he, he, he goes all over the world, like, going to, like, go fest events and stuff like that. That's awesome. And he did he did a video one time, a couple years ago at this point, breaking down how much he spent on the game. And he he uh, acknowledged he spent over 100000 on the game, which I don't even know how you spend $1,000 in that game. But anyway. Um, agreed. <laughs> but then again, I, I don't play it, like, at all myself. So. Uh, That's, like, a brand new car in my but his, well, he's a content creator, so some well, of the yeah, money. it's a little different, but still. But he's I mean, like, you know, I have friends who over the last seven years have spent a hundred thousand at a bar. So yeah. at least I'm not doing that. Yeah. So and when like, I, when I tell my sister, like, oh hey, I, you know, I got my Boombadir up to five stars today. She says, well, at least you didn't go to a bar. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I mean, if if you're if you're taking care of, if your family's taking care of, if you're not taking on debt, 
Yeah. And you like, have you like, you're not exactly. hurting anybody. You're donating to charity. If you uh, drop 110 gifted in someone's stream. Yeah, like I, I definitely. Go buy a Star Wars game if you want to. I mean, regardless of like if you're in a good place financially, if you're taking out debt and that kind of thing, I think dropping 110 memberships in the stream is just never a bad option. No, I'm kidding. Please, please, no <laughs> one donate anything. If you are struggling financially, please keep it to I'm yourself show cry, yeah. <laughs> and well, push it I mean, to some other people. I, like, I always say I'm old. I'm old. I'm not. I'm not that old. I'm 39. Yeah. Oh my but gosh, you're ancient. Like, if you handle your money correctly, For me you are. Eventually you get, you know, and, and everyone should, I read this book, it's called uh, Simple Path to Wealth. Mm. Your goal should be uh, to, you know, get to have few money, which is yeah. going to be different for everyone, but it's basically a sum of money where you can leave your job at any point and not work. Yes, and that, that is or, currently you know, what I'm trying to... So eventually, like, if you're 25, 39 might sound like it's way out there, but if you make if you make the right choices at 25, like, when you hit 39, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, like, and that's that's kind of what I'm trying to work to now. Is like, um, that's why I'm moving and everything. I'm gonna try and find a better job and kind of you know get a good like stabilized $10. position as a, an adult. Huh? I said I'm what yeah Pepsi I mean it's it's a good job overall um, for like someone that's in college it works with my schedule in college and that kind of thing but it's very physically demanding in general you know I make I move several thousand pounds of soda each day oh my gosh I turn left in the Chewbacca turn right there's another Wookie gosh well you should just play because she at this point right? I have a I have a man. I own and operate a window manufacturing company. That's oh, my nice. real life job. And I I try to like mentor people, you know, whether it's my role to do that or not. Yeah. And we I have a lot of young people coming in, and you know, sometimes we might have a a big order or something. We'll bring in temporary workers. Sounds and good, Nova. You have a great them, night. The young people like. You don't want to be lifting stuff your whole life. Yeah. The longer you go, like, doing jobs like that, like, like you're a really smart guy, aren't you? I'm sure there's lots of stuff you can do. I don't know what you, this is getting too deep. I don't know what your life will suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're good, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, right now I'm just looking into doing something like an online certificate to get me into, like, technology jobs for now. And then kind of coming circling back around and figuring out what I want to do truly with my life because you know yeah. college is great and all but if you don't know what you're doing and you keep changing your major it's kind of a struggle yeah, right 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 you can really develop a lot of debt yeah those online programs are great you just spend a few months get some skills yeah you'd be and then surprised I'll... like more like what I'm talking about though it's like the people who feel like they're in ruts and they mm. they don't they don't do stuff like that. Yeah, and like, like I... Get the IT cert certificate or something like that. They just feel like they're in ruts and their life's not going to get any better. And I honestly think that like mind, that mindset and that mentality is really bad because it continues and just continues until it gets to the point where it just full-on depression. And, yeah. you know, I was there a couple of years ago where I just, I couldn't find a way out of just being on the couch all the time. Trying to do anything was hard to me. But, you know, get some therapy in you, get some, uh, can work on it, and you can get somewhere. The, when I kind of got, like, a big wake-up call for life in general was when I went away to college for my first semester. Mm. And I got sick, and I had to, I like ran out of my room and ran through this trash can in the hallway, and I threw up. Mm. And like no one cared about that. Mm. And I'm like, wow, the real world is cold and scary. Yeah. <laughs> like the janitor looked at me, just like, hey man, what are you doing? Which I don't blame him. You know, he's got to clean up. Yeah. The cube. Like you're making more work for him. I I get it. I wish wish he had some sympathy, but I get it. 
But you oh, kind someone of come took out of this environment. You, you leave your family. You leave kind of the controlled environment of, of high school. And you get out into the world and you feel so small. Yeah. That's honestly the biggest thing I don't ever want to get stuck doing is just working an office job. I eventually you find I honestly wouldn't mind an office job if I'm making good money. I I honestly don't mind doing any job if I'm making right. good hey. money and it doesn't hurt, you know, my right. anything like health or anything like that. Pay hey, depending, oh. but I feel like after a while even if the your office job, job is don't like if it, let's say like my my cousin she works for the she works for the CIA mm -hmm. and she's she has she's worked there now maybe like 15 years she doesn't really like it so sometimes she's like oh I don't know maybe I want to come home and, and get a job earning 30,000 mm -hmm. yeah if that's what will make you happy go for it but like let's yeah. say you have a job let's not even use the CIA job as an Let's say you have a job that you don't like, but you did you make decent money. Just put together a strategy. Do that as long as you possibly can mentally. To put yourself in a position where you can go on and then do the next thing that you want. Yeah. Yeah. Or even like, if you put uh, money aside in a trading account and you oh, sure. learn trading and like even if you can make like average like seven to five percent a year. That's Return. that is the That's formula for life, right there. Gonna add up. Save oh, as yeah. much as you can, put it into a, uh, a, 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 a asset that earns interest, that compounds. Yeah. Oh yeah. That that's the trick. Yeah. It's it's hard to get really wealthy in our country, but it's not hard to get rich over a long period of time. I have broken. True. Right. They they do provide a lot of ways that like if you're just looking for you know future wealth you can really build yourself up if you're smart about it. But also this country has a lot of problems when it comes to misconceptions on what debt is, and, you oh, know sure. whether or not it's yeah. good. Absolutely. <clears throat> but yeah, I. Uh, That's a great point. Uh, honestly, my my financial goals are kind of funny because it's like. I want to be able to not only make money, but I want to make enough money that I can have my own money, but also share with other people as much as possible, because that's what I've been, I, I've actually had to like teach myself not to do, is uh, not spend money on other people, because I was doing it way too much while here at college. Oh, sure. Oh, hi, Anakin. How often do I stream, Landon? Uh, at least three times a week, typically four, if I do a roster review or a side PP stream, like a KOTOR, that kind of thing. Sorry for sombering up the atmosphere here. How dare you? Oh, that's Anakin. I'm panicking. Uh, you are good, dude. It's always good to have real moments in streams. At least I think so. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I won my fantasy football league. And I just put all that money in some stocks, and that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah, I think it was like the S and P five hundred. I don't know about that stock. Sure. Yet. That's a great idea. Oh yeah. Yeah, just that's, like an index fund, to... something that's designed to perform like the market. That's a great idea. Oh yeah. Yeah, like any yeah. money, like if you win a raffle. I just put a hundred bucks in there because that's what I won. Because for some reason, my. Uncle, he had a league and he didn't have to play. He was like, oh, yeah. Want to play? I was like, sure. The prize was like $300. I'm just like, wow. I'm just going to put this away because I know I'll need it later. Yeah. yeah and have, like, uh, yeah. like, just like windfalls like that. Like, someone gives you money or you win money. Like, just act like you never got it and save it. Mm. If, if you can. Yeah. You know, everyone's... Well, I mean, if you... Yeah, if you need it to survive or like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You can always do My that. My first thought well. definitely wasn't to buy some Legos. <laughs> Not I, at all. I, would have that. <laughs> I, I have an employee and she has a lot of debt. And I said, you know, the, the, the best thing about getting out of debt 
or hmm. at least working to get out of debt, is like by doing that, you learn the skills to save. True. Because yeah. when you when you pay off debt, when you, when you have a debt alleviation plan, that money you're putting towards debt, once the debt is paid off, is now free cash flow. Yeah. Well, you've, you've become accustomed to not living off of that. Yeah, and then you know, that excess money can, you know, kind of either go into things like retirement, as well as a little bit for yourself, just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Landon, that's not good, bro. Stop watching my stream in school. Even though I'm saying this, having wa watched Markiplier all through high school while sitting in study hall in all my classes. Don't do it, it's bad. We <laughs> took streams are so great. Oh, I think it's actually noon for you. Because I just, like, sit, from, sit there for my 16 minutes of science class so I have to leave it because of my leg injury. Mm. I just sit there and watch the stream for 15 minutes. Okay. Because I usually have, like, study hall the next day. Fair. I mean, I, re I really like... Well, Within my company, you know, I, I understand sometimes it's, it might come across the wrong way. Like someone like me, hey, you should do this or you should do that. I mean, yeah. I try to pay the employees as well as I can. I try to, not only do I try to give them advice, I try to give them the tools to, to make certain things happen for themselves. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, right. And it sounds like you're a good boss, actually. <laughs> yeah. I think advice, as long as it's not, like, too, like, preachy, is never a bad thing. I would say less than, uh, preachy. Uh, everyone quit. We're gonna try and get was to matter in here. Um, uh, more than just preachy, it's just, as long as it doesn't get too pushy, and there's not enough compassion. Because if you truly That's care about someone, weird. I think that you can be pretty forward and pretty pushy with it but it's just equal to how much compassion you have for the person and how much you show that to that person yeah well with that uh i must depart okay sounds good snack it was, uh, it was, it was great fun. to have you dude you are always and welcome my nice. friend i will see you guys later yeah you have a great day dude Okay, let's see. Does was the matter got it working at this point? Thank you, Mom. Um. Also, I gave Static his membership role. Sweet. Um. So far, I've had two people DM me. Okay, oh, sick. Thank you, Mom. So, yeah, if you if you want you me to go through that now. I can probably do that. Yeah, um, it. give me just a second. Yeah, open this up. Uh, if I open up here. Gosh. Uh, I love Lando's creepy laugh. Can I just... Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah, that looks like such a nightmare for you guys to read. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. How about not? Let's see if we can find a different way to get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, give me just one sec, guys, and we'll jump back into some games. But I'm going to try and get a couple snapshots of this while we're sitting here. Is there a better way to look at people in Discord other than that sidebar? Do you know? I genuinely don't. If you go over to the settings and go to roles, you should be able to just, like, search up people's names really easily. Okay. okay. Um... Okay. Uh, Tellable. Okay, yeah. Tellable. There's Tellable. Okay. And then Damn Cool is the membership, right? 
Yes, all of these are going to be damn cool. Okay, we have a lot of people to make numbers. Yes. Um, I still haven't gotten a response on Discord, it looks like. Okay, what's the matter? I'm going to need your EA account, and then we'll jump in. Okay, I uh, got two. What's the matter? Okay, it's, it's just the same thing. Sweet. Then let's get you in here. Um... That's right. Someone in an okay. Irishman said that you, if you opened it with the the members list with an Excel or Google sheet, it wouldn't be as bad. Oh, hmm. I wonder if I can open it as a uh, a what you might call it a Google Sheets. What about um, uh, just asking people to link their like YouTube and Discord and having them set it up that way? Yeah, we definitely could. Um, and in a perfect world, that's what we do. So if you want to just do an at everyone, you can and just set up an at everyone where it's just you know at everyone. If you received a membership today, please, um, you know, DM one of the moderators or something a, like that. Could you do a community post on YouTube or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I try to get more. I will, yes. Okay, I'll put a at everyone in. Okay, uh, sweet. General. Uh, let me Actually, try. Let me try opening this really quick. There we go. I just edited my original message. Yeah, I don't know enough about this to be able to do something like that, Irishman. I wish I could. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, so yeah, we do the first person that shows up that day, Landon, because I'm not going to go and like check and be like, oh, is this person here today? Uh, I'm just going to do the people that are there, so that way we can do it. So. Uh, it's going, Lefty Roper. Uh, do we have... Uh, what's the matter? I did send you a friend request. Uh, let me double check. Quack what? twice if you got it. Quack twice. Yeah, so it's you sent. Can... So, uh, yeah, if you... Basically, you just view profile at the top left corner of the screen. What does it matter if you're watching the stream? He's been using soundboard to communicate the last few times he's in here. Love that. Uh, but yeah, so you click on your little icon at the top left, and then... Yeah, there you go. You got it. Okay, just sent you an invite. Sweet. Yeah, no problem, Landon. Uh, Trey, I, I like to keep him at at least 280 speed, because that gives him about 320 after buffs, um, but, you know, anything fast is pretty good for him, uh, but anything over 280 I think is, like, solid modding for the guy. Me instantly opening so we go to check how fast my Jedi Knight Rabbit is. <laughs> Discord says you don't have a mic. Uh, yeah, go to your Discord settings and set up your mic. Um, you'll, you'll probably have to switch from whatever your default though, default thing is. Yeah, so you go voice and video, and then you go to your input and change your input to whatever you use normally. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. 30 speed off. Uh, we got, uh, Haas Nocturna. You mind quitting out from your, uh, current one? Ready to die. We lost. 
Done. Oof, that sucks. What's the matter? <laughs> have you tried plugging it in? Or have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in in case you already have? Got him to 283. Heck yeah, dude. Solid mods right there. Yeah, that'll give him a solid 323 speed in a 5v5 scenario. So, I've never had problems with, like, that speed. Uh, I mean, honestly, he's probably faster on most other people's accounts, but... Uh, Ray, anything over 500, I would say, is pretty dang good for Ray. She doesn't need the most speed. <clears throat> now that you got thinking, thinking me about speeds, how fast do you want your grief compared to boss? Uh, grief compared to boss is within a speed. Okay, so grief one speed faster. Uh, you want boss one speed faster because you want boss to take first turn. He hits his taunt, and then grief takes a turn, calls calls a mass assist, and then that gives 100% turn meter back to boss. And then he hits his mass assist, and you immediately have a contract. Nice. So that's what get, make that team good, finally. I could add 30 speed to my grief somehow. Yes, and so if you can get that those speeds correct, and then if I recall correctly, I think it's... Um, I want to say it's... Oh, it's a percentage. It's like you need your... Um, your Mando like 25% slower. I can't remember what the exact percentage is. I'd have to look it up. Good luck, Landon. Modding is not a not a fast thing. It, it's definitely over time. I am so behind on getting speed primary arrows. Like, I never get them from the challenges, so I just have to buy them. From the mod shops or just farm them which i mean takes a while but i mean that's what i do yeah i i think i almost always buy them just so i have the excess for when i unlock characters and stuff just so i can put on something with speed with both but, oh yeah. landon that is solid an slkr to 174 additional speed is amazing that's like right about where i'm at i think mine's like 180 somehow Thinking my PF mods. Heck yeah. Okay, just to make whoever it was happy, let's uh, get rid of all of our notifications. No, actually 190 extra speed. Heck That's yeah. actually how I place would go at first. I would try to get all of my notifications away. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> as long as it gets you through your dailies and everything, why not, right? The way I would play the game before I hit level 85 is kind of painful. I feel like that's everyone that plays the game, though. Yeah, well, I even probably... after I hit 85, why do it? Why? Why did I ever think that the Karthus Zeta and the oh. HK 37 Zeta were good investments? Oh, to be fair, um, the HK's kit is one of the most interesting kits to me because it looks really good. It's just not. <laughs> the, like the only reason I did it was the GP requirements. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I, I, it hurts my soul when I see people do that for the just the GP requirement for Malik. Yeah, uh, it wasn't even for Malik. It was for um, uh, just normal Darth Revan. Oh. Uh yeah. Because I was like, I can't get these, this gear on him. It's over. Mm. We're almost done. We almost have all of them done. It's over. Almost. Over. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I prefer the sight of the rifle. Well, I can't join um, Haas Nocturna because they're playing with someone right now. So I'm just going to leave the group for now. And then we'll see if what's the matter we can get in here. Uh, my streams normally start either... 
It depends on where you live, Landon. Uh, so right now it is 7.45 p.m. for me. Typically I start at 6 p.m., uh, 10 p.m., or 3 p.m. Those are my normal times. I do streams for like roster reviews a lot of times at noon. But no matter what, all of my stuff will always, uh, you know, have roster reviews at the end. You two hours ahead of me. Are you from Alaska? Um. Anyways, uh, what's your favorite Arnold song? We're playing it. Let's see. Two hours ahead would be East Coast, actually. Oh, sorry. Two hours ahead. Yeah, two hours behind. Yeah, so it'd be East Coast. My brain was saying two hours behind. I was like, oh yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, two hours ahead. Yeah, you, yeah. you're right, you're right. Uh, let's see, my favorite one. Oh. Can I take a guess? Go for it. The original Boba Fett song. See, that's the problem, is it's between that one and Thrawn. Because I love the original Boba Fett one so much. Oh, uh, so do I. It's it, it's, dude. it's like that in Thrawn's Scrap Upgrade, but then Darth Bane just came in and, it's, and it just took over everything. Yeah. I love the Bane song. Like, I, uh, the bass drop of the, the seismic charge is just so great, and I love that so much. Okay, uh, let's check on what's the matter real quick before I jump into a game without him. Okay, looks like his... His PC is still not working too well, but if anyone else wants to join in, hit me up. You can just jump in the member chat and everything, so anyone who is a member can join in. Okay, let's see. We're going to set this. Honestly, was my, like, the first one that was my favorite when I, like, first started listening to his music. I love that song so much. Yeah. Solely because of the HK47 voice line. <laughs> what are you, uh, an astromech viewer? How dare you? I don't know if anyone here watches astromech. Yeah, I watch him a little, but he streams like in the middle of my school, and I have the two classes that I actually care about, so I don't watch him. Uh, yeah, he streams pretty early in the morning for me. But when I'm working, uh... Ooh, got hit from behind. Uh, when I'm working the uh, early morning shift at Pepsi, I'll uh, I'll listen to him while I'm at work. How dare you support the HK propaganda? <laughs> it's not propaganda if it's true. Like honestly, HK is probably the character that I oh hi. Uh, the character that I would most love a rework for, just because like it's a character that I really want to work he good to and he good. doesn't. Yeah. Like, he he literally kills Jedi. Okay. Yeah, so and like, yeah, he has that anti-Jedi synergy built into his kit, but he doesn't have a home to put it with. Yeah. I feel like they should just put on, like, a shorty team or something. Dude. Point. They, yeah, they just need to rework him to give him the Sith tag, and honestly, he'd immediately be okay to use. Mm. And then I guess, um, uh, Empire Jubilee can just probably go with, um, uh, C. Yeah, like, if he has some solid Sith energy, you can throw- Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Yeah, I still want to see more um, Old Republic characters, specifically Sith Empire. Yeah, I, I would love to see more in the Old Republic. I actually would like to see more on the side of the Republic, just because we don't get to see a lot of it overall. Um, it's just the lesser uh, yeah. talked about. And so, like, I'd love to see, like, a Satil Shand come to the game. Maybe even as, like, a JML yeah. lifter, and this time actually yeah. one that's, like, good specifically with JML instead of just a generally good character like JKCK. Yeah. But I really want to see a Lord Scourge. Yeah, Lord Scourge is a big one for a lot of people. I want to see Vitiate. Um, it's always the Wookiee. And then, uh, yeah, getting like the main 
Little puppet characters would be good. Have a great day, Mr. Potato Pig. Oh my gosh, what's the matter? Are you just... Your computer's just having an aneurysm. What is happening? Looks like my computer every second. Your EA launcher just randomly switched locations? Oh gosh. I think the Zabrak, uh, Jedi Master from the, uh, Swoder trailer, if you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. I don't about. know his name, but the one in the hangar bay, yeah. Yeah. I think it, it would be a cool addition with, like, some Satyrathon synergy. Oh, yeah, 100%. So, like, like make a... When off, she becomes more powerful or something like that. Yeah. Uh, honestly, just a whole, you know, uh just expand outward the old republic faction and just use them yeah like don't give them Get jedi to... synergy give them old republic synergy kind of like how um kyle katarn has the you know rebel fighter synergy instead of jedi synergy yeah. have a great night I'll athlete still... i'll still throw kyle katarn on my jedi knight I've been well, like yeah so... i mean if you don't have another relic jedi then sure but like yeah yeah it's not really right. a great option yeah. This entire kit is like, if Rebel Fighters, if Rebel Fighters. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm low enough to where the kits don't matter as much. Yeah, well, I use my uh, Kyle with my three gears piece, gear 12 Mon Mothma, because I was going to jam out before I realized how close I was to Ray. <laughs> nice. It's like, then what are we gonna I'm do with close Mon Mothma? Ray, but I'm still so far away. Because so, I need. Um, would would you say that you are still far away? Yes, I am. I'm very <laughs> far away. Because I still need a Chewbacca for the um, Jedi training ray, and then I still need Jedi training ray. Right? I mean, at least Jedi training ray is a really easy farm. It's only right, like a gear right. nine legendary, so. Yeah. <clears throat> well, cause like I have all the light speed bundles, but one. Mm. I, and the one that I'm missing is the one with the Chewbacca. I think it's like, I don't the know. The J2R what. bundle? Yeah, that's the one I didn't get. So I have mm. every other character but that one Chewbacca, so. Oof. Okay, hold on. I think I literally just bought that bundle when it first came out so I could um, uh, get a uh, vet Han for Slicker. Mm. I am only five finalizer shards away from SLK Arvin. So. Heck yeah. I've been there Nostra. since the beginning of the month. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, couldn't get into your game because you didn't quit. Okay, let's jump into another match. I'm just gonna hit any. Let's see what we get. Galactic oh. Republic, because that's the best faction. So hot in this room. That's, I forgot to say that, mention this, but they should also add the Old Republic um, troopers. I oh, forget yeah. what his name is. But like the, uh, the one guy, the guy with the messed fights. up face. Yeah. And yeah. He oh, that guy. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I, I definitely think there's a lot of room for characters that we could get into for older public, and they just haven't bothered. And like, I get it, it to a certain probably... extent because they just, you know, it's not like old republic's a big major thing right now. Doing like a havoc squad right, team. Style. That's what it's called. Havoc mm. squad. Um, yeah, have explored. Similar to Bad Batch, almost. I don't know. Does anybody know why the Bad Batch event has been going on for 50 days? Uh, it's supposed to line up with the season three of uh the oh. show. Yeah. Yeah, like went live, and I think it's ending like the day after the end. Yeah. I'm so okay. I've only watched three episodes of the Bad Batch season three. I can't get motivated to watch the Bad Batch. 
Really? Dude, honestly, I'm, I'm Bad Batch, good. like, for, this first season has, like, two, three episodes that are really good, which is true of basically all the animated shows where the first season is usually pretty bad. But then, like, yeah. second season and third season for Bad Batch have been fantastic. Well, like, I went through and I watched all of the second season, and I was, like, actually really motivated, and I just haven't hit that to the third season yet. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm excited. It's it's getting crazy. There's there's been like an episode or two that I was like not really a huge fan of in uh, season three, but like overall it's been good. Yeah. Like the Ventress one, I just I wasn't a fan of myself. I liked the episode where they introduced that island. I think you saw it work in that and how that went. Okay, where's this guy hiding? Like a Greek city or something. Oof. You rolled a Fincron, but not a Holdocron. How's your guild doing for reroll materials? Like, I mean, if you're getting some reroll materials, you should have almost enough to reroll a Datacron fairly easily. He's like, you have like a 1 in 4 chance of getting a uh, Holdocron, so that's basically a guaranteed on a reroll. I can't see anything! Oh, hi. Uh, so you get them from Territory Wars. Territory Wars wins and losses give reroll materials. That's the big reason why people care about Territory Wars right now. My guild is undefeated in Territory Wars. If anybody nice. wants to join the Shard Shark Jedis, our ad is in, in the, the Discord. Discord, yeah. That's where I found it. Gosh, melee does nothing in this game against the PCs. Because they'll just shoot right into your face. It doesn't stun them at all. Yo, what's up when you're very important? Is when you're first getting into the data bonds, it's like those one million credits because this is like my second like round of actually caring. So I've been scarred for credits the entire time. Mm, like the, the data cron credits? Yeah. Yeah, like honestly, I spend a lot of uh, shard shop currency on that. I'm and that's what I've been doing since I've gotten hot utils. It's just every whenever I do my go to the web store. Oh, also slash bronzium. 25 of 40, dang. Yeah, so if you don't know, Landon, um, when it comes to reroll materials, uh, rerolls cost equal to the number of times you rerolled them. So if you reroll, uh, like, the, the, you know, level 3 one or any of the stats, uh, you're counting up to your total number of rerolls. So, you know, if you can get one, get to the right place without having to do any rerolls, you can only take 20 to reroll a one. So it's super nice. Hi, Yoda. I don't like having you here. Yeah, I'm kind of lost with data crimes. I just get them to level three. Honestly, like, just having a bunch of level three data crons is never a bad thing. Like, if you have a level three data cron for, like, each team that you have, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to get for this thing I just want to get with you. I, I don't know what is happening with your mic, but it sounds like you're speaking into your lap. Yes, oh, it's like I was resting my head on my arm. Ah. Uh. Are you now? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of behind on Datacrons, because I'm saving up for the May the 4th packs. Mm. <clears throat> One of these days, I'll actually then... start going for Quadme. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, At all. I was super like... motivated when it came to uh, Bane. Um, but, like, when it comes to Quadme, it's just like, yeah, I mean, Padme's a cool enough character. And, like, her yeah. kid does look really cool, but it's just... I don't know. I'll get her when I get her. I'm, like, not overly worried because I'm kind of at the point where it doesn't matter if I unlock a character day one, I'm going to get them regardless. Yeah. I guess. But, like, 
I, so I'm dealing, going for Gungans. That's gonna be my I think. Like after I get gas, I mm. kind of need to move my roster. Like I, I already have, have everyone farmed. It's just taking some people to get twelve and getting some out. Probably gonna be like a month, hopefully. I have a question about my roster and just like the direction to take it. So I have mo all, uh, Relic Nine Cup Empire. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, I have most of my Sith Empire ready to be relic. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm farming my Canteen energy is going to the um, set signal data. Oh, signal data. Okay. Star Killer, because I just relic him today. Nice. Um, Great panic farm. You did a roster review of me today, and you saw my relic too, of Star Killer. Uh, yeah. Got it. Um, so my question is, do I get the Mark II Guild Currency? Do I get Malik Shards and try to get him to 7 stars? Um, or do I try to Relic Bastila, Sith Empire Trooper, and Sith Empire first? Um, honestly, I go all in for a Malik. If you're not spending your Mark II on anything right now, I would go for Malik because that's an immediate solo that you can use even if you don't have the rest of your Sith Empire done. Oh wait, because my Darth Revan's good enough to just have him together. I yeah, can so also that... probably plug and play into a Trio team. Yeah, I, do I like that the when I have... team. Yeah, that's my next next farm. Mm -hmm. Trio. Yeah, amazing. I did. I did that all the time when I just like have way too many teams in Gunner you know? Sometimes yeah. I'll just face like people that do JMK and pray. Mm. Like back wall is literally just the one teams. I love that. And then SLKR takes precedent as soon as I unlock him. Fair. 100% fair. GLs should in, in most cases, yeah. unless you have like specific things that like you need to get done. Like I've got a buddy who's keeping his JML at like, you know, gear one right now. <laughs> That's actually what my CLS, my Treya, um, oh, why? Because he wants, like, Bane or something? Just yeah. Cause, like, cool. He's got other farms in the way. Arnold's doing the same thing with his JML. Oh, yeah, I saw that the other day. Eventually, Jeez, I'll have to so farm many people. gas, but I really don't want to. Why not? Like, I really don't. Because of the Ewoks, I really don't want to. Oh, okay. walks for C3PO alone. At any like, point in the game, you're gonna have to just do... get them. Uh, what's yeah. the what, Nisa? Gear eight, all of them. Should be easy. Yeah, that's true. If you just want to get Nisa. Are you gonna be impatient long. like me? Even though you have like 60 out of 100 on Nisa and just get 12 to to E walks. And my justification definitely was not the raid. Hey Jay, welcome, welcome. And then eventually, just because I think I need to do it, I'm gonna get Leviathan. So Malik and Darth Revan are gonna be my first two relic mines, one after the other. Leviathan's a rough farm to go for. Yep. Are you looking at on a Fury Clash guard? Uh, my what? Yeah, Fury Clash interceptor shards. <laughs> Interceptor Zero. shards? Uh, this is like, this is like future plans. Oh, mm -hmm. like future, like, future. Da yeah, down, this down, down. Like two executor. years. Two this years. This is after I have executor. Um, after you 69 million GP. <laughs> after I'm the number one player, R9 everything, perfect mods. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, no, Executor, I think, is probably next after. Hey, Age, welcome, welcome. Out. Jay, Age, would you like to join in at all? I don't know if you guys own the game, but you are 100% free as members to join in. Currently, we just got one member yeah. we're playing with, and then a couple people in chat, just for fun. So if you want to join us in chat, you can also join us in chat. Yeah, let's I'm going to hop out for the night. Hop off. Sounds later. good. Since good having so, you, Bombardment. Good being here. Yeah. See you next stream. Yeah. <laughs> we'll if, see. If I'm not busy. If yeah. I'm not busy. 
You kind of jump in and out pretty quickly all the time. Yeah, because it's most of the time I join them in like the middle of a class. So I can only be there for so long. Fair. So. Yeah. Anyways. See ya. See ya. Ooh, Starkiller base. Are we playing Resistance or are we playing First Order? You know when your next stream is going to be? My next stream? I don't, actually. Um, I know for a fact that we're going to have the subathon a week from today. Uh, we might have another stream tomorrow night. We'll see. Um, it's kind of the last time that I have time before I'm heading to vacation. And I might do a members-only stream, just a fun little thing, like, you know, I don't know, Breakfast with Beaver, where we're making breakfast, and because I don't have my streaming set up when I'm down there, so. Oh, I'd love to see that, what would yeah. be, like, your phone camera. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see what I end up doing uh, when I'm on vacation, but we, we might do something a little fun. <clears throat> but other than that, we'll, we'll see. So either... Um, <laughs> We won't have anything for the next, you know, week or so, or we might have just a fun little stream on, like, Saturday or Sunday, so. Like, if you do stream tomorrow, could I probably do my roster of you then? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. I know I got a buddy who's coming into town. Who uh, graduated a while ago, so I know I'm going to dinner with him. But if I have time oh. after, then I'm gonna hop on and do some roster reviews because we've been pretty full on roster like, reviews lately. We're at like 12 o'clock at. Uh, yeah, it would be. Let's see, it would probably be somewhere around seven o'clock, so an hour ago next tomorrow. So nine, not terrible, but you know, no. Yeah, so we'll see. It'll just kind of be up to, you know, how long that guy wants to hang out and if I have time. Definitely in Prop 2 stream, if anything. It's like the one you're looking today. Exactly, yeah. I was, like, so confused because I was in the middle of my fleet time. I was like, that would be what went last. Like, <laughs> uh. Have Sarky. <laughs> Since I just got Ray, have SLKR, Star Killer. And then blank because you didn't finish your comment. What what about these guys, Landon? <laughs> All right, thanks. I'm gonna go get sleep. Sounds good, dude. You have a great night. Thanks for joining us during the member uh, game night. Mm. You too. Sorry, we couldn't Thank play. <laughs> I'm okay. I expect it. I'm surprised you even downloaded. <laughs> Fair. You have a great night, dude. Uh, I have those Revan's gas and some little side farms. Who should I farm next? Okay, so you you have all of those. Those aren't part of your farming plan. You have those. Uh, if you have Ray, SLKR, Star Killer, Revan's gas, um, I would highly suggest Executor. If you don't have an Executor, it needs to be in your roster. You are at that point where you need a Crystal Income ASAP. If you're looking for a farm that's, uh, you know, a, a good one with just the light speed bundles, you're go what you're going to want to do is you're going to go for Jedi Luke, Jedi Master Luke, that kind of area. Um, or you can alternatively go for Sith Eternal. If you go for Sith Eternal, it'll feed into your Executor requirements. But either way, I want you in the background working on executor requirements if you don't have a GL ship, which it sounds like from your list that you don't. So, <clears throat> yeah, a GL ship is super, super important for an account like that. So, like, I don't know where you are for Razor Crest. You're already really close in the ships in general for, uh, for what you're looking at. Um, and so you kind of just need to finish out a couple of ships and specifically Razor Crest. So if you're a ways away from Razor Crest, go for Jedi Knight Luke. If you're, uh, if you're close to Razor Crest, start working on the executor requirements right now. So. There's your roster review without being able to look at your roster. <clears throat> Jeez. 
sounds crazy. <clears throat> you have all the ships, but almost none of the characters? Yeah, so definitely what I would work on next. And then it would also feed into getting yourself some Imperial Troopers. These Imperial Troopers are an amazing team that is slept on way too much nowadays. And so after you finish Executor, I highly suggest adding in a Relic 5 Dark Trooper and the Zeta onto Veers to be able to get yourself a solid uh, Imperial Trooper team going. I think this will be my last game. I, I do want to get some other stuff done today, and I wanted to stay here just as long as we know we have members that we're playing with. And so, big thanks to uh, Haas Nocturna for uh, playing with us today, as well as those else we've had with our member game night. We're going to start doing these every month, and we're going to try and get some games that everyone can play. Uh, maybe we'll switch away from Star Wars next time. We'll see. But we'll, we'll play through this game, and then we'll, uh, you know, probably call it. So... But yeah, I, I don't know what other games we could play, honestly. Um, hey, look, I'm SLKR. I even have the, the face mask scar thingies. <clears throat> I'm actually going to wait back here and let them take it. Hey, it looks like these guys know how, uh, what they're doing, too. Sick. But yeah, um, but yeah well, I don't know what games we can play, because if we get too many people, it's going to severely shorten the amount of games that we can play. This one's always going to be an option, but I'd like to do more of like our cross-play so everyone can join in. That's why I love the idea of the Battlefront collection. They just gotta fix it. I would love to do that with everyone. Just have a full-on war with uh, with our members and just do a really fun, like, you know, big game of Battlefront. Sounds like so much fun. Split it up into, like, a couple different voice channels and, you know, have a couple different groups going. It'd be awesome. So we'll, we'll kind of see what we can get going as the months progress. And we'll also take a look at the schedule overall and see if we can't get it to a regular schedule. And maybe on a weekend from here on out, just so that way we can get as many people as we can who are available. Freaking love Kylo Ren in this game so much. Yeah, I, I would like to set up leagues with other streamers and have weekly matches once a week, you versus... So I did try to get something started among the other ones before uh, before the, uh, the Battlefront collection actually came out. Um, I did try to get something going, and I had some stuff going. Like, I had, like, four or five people that were planning on joining me. Uh, including Fat Phil, Astromech, Arnold uh, was down for it. Nooch was a solid maybe. Uh, Nooch isn't the biggest fan of shooters in general. And also, he noticed that, you know, playing other Star Wars games, he doesn't get as much viewers, which I've noticed the same thing. But I, I like to do what I enjoy, and if people join me, is kind of up to them. So I, I would eventually like to do something like that, especially if I can get Arnold in on it. I think it would be a lot of fun to just have, like, a, a game night with Arnold. Um, and just, you know, a couple of the other things. And so I'd love to do something more like that, but we got to wait for the Battlefront collection to get somewhere, so. A team with, yeah. So, like, my original idea for the Battlefront collection, let me lay it out for you. I was going to have each of the streamers grab a couple of their members and have a different, like, group. Of, and so we'd each have our own voice channel, and then each streamer would have kind of their own point of view with their, like, you know, seven people that they're playing with. And so I thought that would have been so much fun, but, you know, then uh, Battlefront Collection ended up being really broken. Exactly, ADP. That was my original plan. And then Battlefront Collection was broken. And so I'm going to be purchasing the Battlefront Collection this, uh, this next month and kind of investigating it and seeing what I can figure out for how well it runs. See if we can't get something uh, going, but we'll see. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
but even just like doing you know if we have enough members next month like I, I would be down to do something very similar inside the battlefront collection except it's just you know eight teams of you guys and like i'm just on one team uh streamy i'd be so down for that but either way i think i i know a couple streamers that i can get involved no matter what we decide to do if we want to so We'll see. Uh, I'll uh, I'll pitch something else out there once we get an idea on how good the Battlefront collection will be. Also, I'm going to do this on stream. Uh, now that we're uh, coming to a close here. You really suck at this style of game. I mean, the old Battlefront 2 really isn't bad, though. It's like, it's a shooter anyone can pick up and play. They do a good job with it. But now that you are here, ADP, I am sorry to say we have to do something on stream with you. Just real quick. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ADP, but it must be done. You are no longer the damn sugar daddy. You will still show up on streams as the damn sugar daddy, but Snack Attack came in and he donated 110 gifted membership so I feel like it's unfair to leave you as the damn sugar daddy you have lost your place I'm sorry sir but let's uh let's kind of get our stuff running real quick <laughs> I'm glad as well ADP but it's unfortunate that you're no longer our sugar daddy so Where's our music? Let's get... Okay. Uh, so I just want to take a second and, you know, I, we could go through the whole spiel about, you know, the damn sugar daddy Joe Correa. I want to give a big thank you to Snack Attack. You're awesome, dude. Uh, it was great having you here. Um, and honestly, you're always welcome to these member things with, you know, stuff like that. That's insane. Uh, you'll always be the sugar daddy in your own mind. Whatever keeps you, you know, sleeping good at night, ADP. But I just want to take a second and thank all of you guys who are our damn elite. You guys make things like this possible and fun, and I really enjoy being able to interact with you guys. And, you know, you guys come in each month, I always really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Um, I know a lot of you might be temporary, but even those that are temporarily here, you bring a lot to making the Beaver Dam a lot of fun and making it an actual community. So thank you guys so much for uh, for being part of the damn community. Uh, always, you know, thank you to the damn contributors. Thank you, Joe Correa. But really, the damn elite, you guys shine each and every day. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see about a fun little member stream this weekend. I'll, I'll see what I can figure out. But we may not see you again until the subathon. By the way, you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys.